here is the progress at the end of day one on working on the flagpole power um, so we can put a light up <clears throat> use the excavator um, got my trench out there and we basically instead of going through the yard we know that there's an old retired well head right on this side of that flower bed uh, so we opted to go out into the driveway stay away still stay away from the power service uh, which we expected and because uh, the power service actually runs from where the generators at to the shop uh, However, it's about uh, five feet farther out in the driveway and so Once we got that done and picked our final design uh, For running the conduit I instead of just doing direct burial wire. I do I did want to run a conduit in case I ever need to change anything I mean conduits relatively inexpensive for what we're doing But we're actually going to run a new line up the wall here um, Into the shop So this flower bed right here or this rock bed will have to come out. <clears throat> We've got to we're gonna go above the uh, drain right there and then one of the other reasons that we decided to uh, clear or dig right here is we're actually going to modify all of this grass right here. Um, or we're going to put grass right there and we're going to take the, the driveway out or put rocks there and put grass out there, so on and so forth. So I think it'll work really, really well. Um, I'll go up to the flagpole and show you what we're going to do there. Okay, so looking at the flag or at the flagpole, looking back to the shop, you can see the shop there. Now there's about 100 feet of uh, wire that has to go in this trench, and so um, basically, if you look at it, um, it's going to turn a 90 right here, and it's going to go up into the flower bed uh, on either side of the flagpole. We're just going to put LED floodlights, basically, uh, one yellow dot there and the other yellow dot right over there. Uh, then we decided, um, even though it's not centered, mostly because we didn't want to move that bush right there, um, uh, you see where we took away those rocks? <clears throat> That's where it's going to go up into the flower bed. Uh, and what we're going to do, or at least attempt to do, is we're going to put in <coughs> uh, a stair step. So probably two steps extended out in the yard a little bit. Um, and so I think that'll look, you know, pretty nice uh, for that particular situation. So, um, yeah, this is going to be, it'll be nice to have lights on the, on the flag, um, you know, when I eventually, when this project gets done. Um, so, and I don't think, uh, we're talking about it, and I probably, I mentioned in that one video that I was going to run um, power out to that concrete pad out there for a new building. And we got to thinking about it and talking about it, and I, don't, I just don't know if I'm going to do that or not. Uh, renting an excavator for a little bit of time is not necessarily too expensive, so um, we might come back and, and try it again or do it again if, if I decide to go that route. Um, initially, the building, we didn't plan on having power to it anyway, so um, not all that big a deal there. Uh, I did not get a video of me operating the excavator yesterday because uh, I came out and did this during the heat of the day because um, the excavator does have a sun canopy on it and so uh, and it's very very hot here right now um, normally we're in the 70s and uh, yesterday I think we hit 100 so um, I'm not necessarily my body is not necessarily prepped for that kind of weather yet uh, considering we 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 took winter pretty far into um, spring and spring's only been here a couple weeks uh, considering a month and a half ago where I was standing there was uh, about 10 feet of snow stacked up so um, yeah not not necessarily 100 degree temps are a little hard right now uh, so we actually came out and did all that work right there uh, last night at gosh about 10 o'clock so that's why there's no video of that because it was dark it was just completely dark and we did it by um, headlamp and tractor light so anyway try to fall in the hole here um, this could, this will probably be just mostly updates as I go along um, I was pretty happy about how level I made the trench uh, was not expecting to be that halfway not terrible um, got a lot of hand digging here at the shop 
but I kind of figured that. So anyway, come back and give more project, more updates when we get closer to installing power. Well, there's our handiwork. Um, got the lights and the flag. That was the whole reason for renting uh, the E35 Bobcat uh, mini excavator. Um, got it all put in. Uh, now we can start working on um, the built rebuilding the um, landscape flower bed around the flagpole. So uh, two 800 lumen LED outdoor lights uh, on it, uh, all controlled by a um, photo sensor on a switch. Uh, run directly from the shop, a Holland conduit, um, three 12 gauge wires, uh, just uh, just single wires, no Romex or anything. Opted to go for the <coughs> um, conduit, mostly from the standpoint of cleaner install stuff like that. Uh, if we find it, you know, we don't with a, another excavator or something like that, we don't have to worry about it. So, pretty happy with the overall project. Um, Certainly well worth it. Uh, tonight I was actually mowing the first time the lights came on. Uh, it was really cool to see the flag light up. You couldn't ask for a better, better angle when coming out of the west for the first time it came on.